nearly 40 years, Maureen Killian and Cindy Menigan have had a loving relationship and raised their children together. But what they don't have but want is a marriage certificate. We knew what it would mean to our family. We knew it would bring us legal protections um, that our family desperately needs, every family needs, as well as an acknowledgement, a true acknowledgement of the commitment that Maureen and I have made to each other over 39 years ago. Hoping to gain those rights in court, the women joined a lawsuit filed against the state. It basically argues that New Jersey's civil union law does not fulfill a 2006 state Supreme Court mandate where the justices ruled gay couples should get the same legal protections as married heterosexual couples. There are over a thousand provisions, rights, benefits that are denied to same-sex couples here in New Jersey. We worry. We worry all the time when something happens if we're going to have the protections that a marriage license would have given us. But New Jersey's Attorney General contends same-sex couples can obtain federal protections if the state doesn't legally recognize their married status. If that doesn't work, the Attorney General argues, then same-sex couples should sue the federal government. Troy Stevenson of Garden State Equality doesn't buy that argument. I would say that the federal government should not be in the uh, business of creating a separate status, a separate but equal supposedly status, which is untrue. Separate but equal is never equal, and it's always separate. Maureen and Cindy's case before the Superior Court in Trenton dates back two years, but the fight for same-sex marriage began long before that, and a lot has changed in recent years. The state legislature approved gay marriage, however, the governor vetoed it, and earlier this summer, the U.S. Supreme Court struck down key parts of the Defense of Marriage Marriage Act, or DOMA, which barred federal recognition of same-sex marriage. Same-sex marriage is legal in 13 states. Gay couples are holding out hope New Jersey will be the next state to legalize it. We first were domestic partners, then we became civil union partners, and now to finally get to the ultimate and say we're married like any heterosexual company, a couple would be absolutely fantastic to, to validate our relationship of 44 years. Meanwhile, the next battle for same-sex marriage is expected to be in the State House. Gay rights advocates are holding out hope that Democratic lawmakers can get enough support in the legislature to override the governor's veto. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Montclair.